I'd like to welcome you to another Friday on Radio-OP.com. Good evening and welcome to Gay Detroit Radio. Uh, lots to talk about today. We've got, uh, I'm going to do a spotlight on a friend of mine, um, Nikki Holland, a uh, local girl. She's a really good musician and I'm going to play a few of her songs. Plus, fact as well, I'm going to play a couple of metal songs as well because for our gay metalers out there, they want to um, listen to some metal music as well. So why not? In fact, that quite shocked me. Uh, quite a strong following in the gay metal scene. So uh, we'll be having some of that music as well. But um, we've got all sorts of stories. Stories. Um, the creator of um, oh good heavens, uh, what's it called? About queer as folk. He thinks there should be more male nudity on the TV. We'll talk about more of that a little bit later. But until then, let's have some music from a very good friend of mine, uh, Nikki Holland, and it's called Secrets. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm James D, and you're listening to Gay Detroit Radio. Uh. Watch me in the corners Corners of your eyes You're dancing here, that's why I came I strip you naked In these pictures in my mind My needs, my wants are hard to tame Now I want to run to you Pick you up between your thighs Just to hear you gasp And speak my name Why do we run? Why do we hide? Why must I be? Beneath me rise Let's dance a way you've never seen I want to creep in you Open the depth of you inside Surrounded by the moss of you and me You saturate me With the pleasure in your cries I won't let go until you scream Why do we run? Why do we hide? Why must I be your secret? You come back to hold on you Lock me inside And when your eyes, your hands, your legs, your hair Keep it down, keep it down, keep it 
She sings Nikki Holland there and Secret. Uh, well, I've got to start now with the idiot of the decade or the century, really. It's got to be uh, Mike um, Fuck- uh, Huckabee and uh, Freudian slip, I suppose. He's now actually saying that um, we should ban marriage equality because now he's saying that bisexuals will demand two spouses. Um, I don't know where this idiot gets all <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, he's brought out this book called God's Guns, Grits and Gravy. Uh, what on earth this is to do with bisexuals, I do not know. But apparently um, he spends most of his time in the book uh, analyzing Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage and uh, comparing uh, the club for growth, one of the fiercest critics on the night, uh, to suicide bombers, claims that the governments must continue to prohibit same-sex unions because of the bisexuals, who, according to Fuckerby Uckerby, um, <laughs> I love calling him that name, um, yeah, he's that bisexuals shouldn't be able to um, have both male and female spouses. Um, wouldn't restricting that person access to both genders be denying the bisexual his or her marriage equality? Actually, um, thank you for bringing that up um, because now um, uh, imagine having a husband and a wife. Ooh, that's scary. We're getting nagged by both genders. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Also, we've got Mr. Queer as Folk creator. He wants to now have more male uh, nudity on TV. He said there's not Im- enough male frontal nudity on TV. You're far more likely to see a naked woman than a naked man. It's only seen as rude because the rest of the television is rather tame. It doesn't actually talk about sex or our bodies and um, how we feel about them. I'm not out to shock. Well, really, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a naked body. I mean, I can't understand why everybody's, you know, sort of... um I found that over here it was um, because obviously I'm English and nudity, full frontal nudity has been going on for years in uh, England and uh, ooh, about 20, 30 years now. It's just no big thing, you know. Um, everybody's seen one. I mean, virtually every male's got a penis and virtually every female has a vagina. Some are lucky to have both and some can change too. So, yeah, I just... Um, mm. I don't understand what's all this, you know, Bible bashing about. I'm not going to start, um, what is it, crushing the religions again because they're doing it all by themselves. You know, it's just, um, it's not that we're, you know, making religions. uh, I know I'm digressing from this, but making uh, religions out to be the victims. No, you've been persecuting people for years and years. It's not victimization. 
you know, on your religious freedom. You're now being held accountable for your actions. It's as simple as that. You are now being held accountable for what you've done and are doing. But there's a lawmaker now who wants to actually stop issuing marriage licenses. I don't know where these people come from. Uh, marriage licenses could be a thing of the past if lawmakers approve a bill by a Cordell lawmaker. Um, he's Republican. <laughs> Todd Russ has authorized HB 1125 to change the state's marriage laws. If the bill becomes law... Uh, the court clerks will no longer issue marriage licenses to couples and judges could no longer perform marriages. Instead, the couple would file a marriage certificate with the county clerk. The certificate would need to be signed by a religious official who conducts the ceremony. So now he's wanting to take the marriage out of the law's hands. You see, this is what really gets me. These people are so ridiculously anal and ridiculous. It's just, there's no other word for it. Because a marriage is a contract of law. Um, a holy matrimony and a wedding is a religious. You know, the, the, the religious cer ceremony is ancillary to the law. You cannot be legally married unless it's a lawful contract. So why these people are now cannot cannot keep separation of church and state. So this really is, uh, these people are so frightening, it's untrue. Really, ridiculously so. So I just, you know, I mean, you've got fucker who wants, you know, uh, thinks that should have, um, <laughs> I just. Uh, two spouses and then this guy in Cordell now wants to take um, it out of the law system legality out of uh, makes it make uh, just, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm getting stuck for words with this and then newly ensconced Republicans have killed a bill that would have kept Colorado gay couples who turned their civil unions into marriages from having to pay twice if they divorced I don't understand this at all. A Colorado state Republicans in charge for the first time in a decade have killed a bill that will have kept, would have kept same-sex couples who entered into civil unions and then converted them into marriages from having to divorce twice. Incurring two times the paperwork and two times the fees. It was a housekeeping matter to decide to keep the uh, Colorado out of the legal chaos, or so Pat Stedman thought, the gay senator who authorized the bill. Uh, it feels like an unfair tax on divorcing gay couples. Oh, well, okay, then that, that seems, you, know, you don't have to get divorced twice. So it's actually done something in favor for the gay couples. Uh, Same-sex couples. I just, I just really, honestly, these people. All right, let's have some music and uh, well, a little bit of metal. And uh, this is called, I believe, it's, it's actually um, a wonderful thing. And uh, they're called the Sunday Hats. And it's going to be called, isn't it called? Let's play doctor. Hmm, that sounds nice. Let's play bisexual doctor. We can have a nurse and a doctor. <laughs> what a fuck. I you know, fuck me, really, really.
on there of um, Let's Play Doctor. Mm. Now, let's get back to uh, our little news. Now, this week, actually, we saw the uh, President uh, Obama and um, he cemented his legacy on civil rights for the LGBT community uh, this week by declaring that marriage equality is a civil right. And in his 2015 State of the Union address before a Republican-controlled House and Senate, President Barack told Congress he believes that marriage equality for same-sex couple is a civil right. I still but that we are one people. I still believe that we are one people, the President said. I've seen something like our gay marriage go from a wedge issue used to drive us apart to a story of freedom across our country, a civil right, and now a legal in states in that in seven in ten Americans call home. And um, Vice President Biden and the Democrats stood and applauded um, Boner. Uh, dickhead boner, whatever. He's, yeah, you know, he's supposed to be boner, but really, he wish he could get a boner. Um, yeah, he sort of sat down and sort of, uh, huh, well, what can I say? Now, here's something. Now, now, I don't know why these people, uh, how are they getting news time? But now there's a baker who's actually facing a civil rights complaint for um, refusing to put an anti-gay message on a Bible-shaped cake. <sighs> God, I don't know these people, really. Um, uh, in Denver, a dispute over a cake in Colorado raises a new question about gay rights and religious freedom. If bakers can be fined for refusing to serve married gay couples, they can also be punished for declining to make a cake with anti-gay statements. Uh, a baker in suburban Denver who refused to make a cake for a same-sex wedding is fighting a legal order requiring him to serve gay couples, even though he argued it would re- violate his religious beliefs. All right. But now a separate case has actually put a twist on the debate over the discrimination in public businesses. And it underscores the tensions that can arise when a religious freedom intersects with a growing acceptance of gay couples. Um, Marjorie Silver, the owner of Denver's Azuka Bakery, uh, is facing a complaint from a customer alleging that she discriminated against his religious belief. According to Silva, the man who visited her last year wanted a Bible-shaped cake, which she agreed to make. But just as they were getting ready to complete the transaction, Silva said the man showed her a piece of paper 
with hateful words about a gaze that he wanted written on the cake. He also wanted the cake to have two men holding hands with an X on top of them. Uh, she said she would make the cake, but declined to write his suggested messages on the cake, telling him uh, she would give him the icing and a pastry bag so he could write the words himself. But the customer didn't want that. Um, you see, this 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 is where it gets... I don't know what to say, mainly because I, I don't know much about the law on this. All I know is that there's a lot of hatred. And uh, really, religion was never, ever supposed to actually be full of hate. You know, religion and the Bible is supposed to be a spiritual guide, not a religious rule book of hate. Um, this this is just ridiculous. I just don't know where it's going. And uh, I'm sure God really doesn't want this. I mean, I do believe in God. And so do a lot of other people there. But I don't believe in uh, man's version of God's rules. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't work with me. If you don't like it, fine. But also, I can't understand that if anybody doesn't want to, you know, serve the gay people, then fine. Find somebody who does. Why do you have to be so adamant that they have to serve you? You know, go somewhere else. You know, if nobody uses them, then they go bankrupt from their own stupidity. Please don't egg on the stupidity that is already there. So, I don't know. It just seems to just, he seems to be getting worse. Also, here's something. To, <laughs> I don't know. Now, Vietnam is proposing separate jails for gays. Uh, the majority of trans inmates want separate prisons to avoid sexual harassment. Uh, Vietnam... Uh, may house LGBTI prisoners in separate jails to protect them from sexual harassment. Hmm. Well, that's really... Well, I wonder if they'll decorate it and can they do the cooking as well? I mean, sign me up, please. Wow. That'd be a flip. <laughs> I'm being dreadfully sexist here. I do apologize. No, I don't. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Uh, dear. Anyway, let's have some music. Um, I'm going to bring um, another one from Nikki Holland, I think. And uh, let's see. What shall we play of hers? I think we should play uh, when I just just completely screw that up. Um, let's see. Ah, let's see. We'll do this next one. It's called Stand Strong. This is from Nikki Holland. The spotlight's on her this week. I really like her song. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Gay Detroit Radio, which is on www.radio-op.com. I'm James D. And we're here every Friday at 9 p.m. Talk to you soon. A long time ago, t'was you they couldn't see. And they crashed, and they stole, and they brought you to me. And your ma hid her eyes from unforgivable things. And her ears dumbed the cries to fulfill her needs. No matter what path I choose, I feel that I'm a part of you. You didn't bring this on, and I know it's not your fault. Things in life we can't control, or break your spirit or steal your soul.
for time when you needed them there. So take a coin from my pocket and throw. Take a wish on me and let those bad things go. We and everybody gets along, but you believe in me, and I believe in you. I was living in the dark till your light shined through. Now my life's so bright, I don't cry through the night. I ain't scared no more. Everything is all right. It's a brand new day, and I can stand strong. Yep. Be who I wanna be and feel like I belong. Cause with you by my side, I'm finally alive. Go together to the end. That's what you said, right? I'm oh man, now I'm on. love that girl's voice yes good old nikki holland there and stand strong now this is like um i don't know why i'm reading this but unfortunately i have to um this idiot um eric erickson is a fox news contributor and he's also the founder of the tea party website red state and is like the most powerful conservative uh, in America today, according to the New Republic. Um, Erickson's Red State doesn't have a large audience, fortunately. Uh, the internet traffic measuring site uh, Quantcast puts his last month's uh, traffic at around about half a million people. But the site is definitely uh, influential amongst the conservatives and the Tea Party. So, when Erickson runs a front-page story titled Michael Sam Trolls the Christians, of course, it's going to actually attract a lot of tension. And uh, after being cut from any of the professional... His, his, it, this man... After being cut from any number of professional f uh, football teams, Michael Sam, who, as far as we can tell, is famous for buggery and not for making the NFL squad, decided to take up a new career of uh, career path of trolling Christians. He and his, um, whatever you want to call it, went to the Vatican where Michael Sam proposed and that the two of them pretend like they are married. His proposal was accepted. In reality, Michael Sam proposed to his boyfriend, Vito, excuse me, Camisano, uh, with the Vatican in the background, and that's apparently uh, very self, uh, very offensive to some people. I'm um, calling Sam a pathetic, self-absorbed creature and an internet troll. Uh, strife. Uh, the author said, Sam says to the Vatican to demand uh, his particip participation trophy. I don't know where this this anyway. He said, um, really, they should go to Iraq and. Um, you know, the hatred is just so... It's, you know, show real courage. Him and his pencil neck toy boy should have hopped on a flight to Iraq where he could have shown some real courage by standing up to people who really care about homosexuality in uh, Iraq because apparently ISIS um, executed two men accused of being gay by throwing them off uh, the top of a building. Um, Eric Erickson is really... Um, there's only one troll, and that's him. The hatred is just unbelievable. Um, but apparently people like to listen to this idiot. 
Uh, also in the state of Virginia, um, is now it's set to pass a law which could allow anti-LGBT businesses owners uh, to bar gay people purely on the basis of their sexuality. The Virginia bill states that anyone seeking or holding a business license from the state of Virginia uh, in the state can refuse the service or entry to gay people. Uh, the grounds that it would violate their religious or moral convictions, um, which such a person, with respect to the same-sex marriage or homosexual behavior. Once again, all I'm seeing is hatred. Total, total hatred. Why is there so much hatred? You know, I don't care who gets married to who, as long as it's between consulting adults. Um... You people, uh, I'm going to say you people, actually. I'm going to say this very condescendingly, too, because uh, you people have had marriage in your laps for centuries now, and you've screwed it up. You know, the divorce rate is over uh, 50%. Uh, Michael Huckabee, once again, says, you know, we've got to... I just don't understand. You know, is is um, gay marriage, you know, uh, you know, it's supposed to, be, supposed to be between man and a woman. Well, you screwed it up. We're actually trying to trying to get married and hold the tradition of marriage. You know, what is it the tradition of marriage now? Is it you just like the first 10 years is a trial run or something like that? You know, the first marriage is a trial run? I don't know. But the thing is, stop it. Stop the hate. There's also here a lesbian grandmother is heartbroken after her son barred her from seeing her grandchildren because she's gay. Uh, she reached out to Dear Abby. Uh, Jean Phillips for advice and uh, dear Abby I came out of the closet when my son was four I thought I taught him not to judge because of a label he's now 30 with a wife and two adorable children who actually own my heart uh, when visiting when my granddaughter was born my partner and I were at the hospital and have visited them often As uh, anyway apparently he's now um, decided uh, that uh, she can't see her own grand grandchildren because she's gay. There is an answer to this. I just think it's pathetic. I mean, really, I mean, if, if for 26 years he's known his mother is gay. So I can't understand this, really. I just don't. I don't. I really don't. I just, this is just really, really, really ridiculous. And then we've got, well, you know, religion. I've got, I've got to do a bit of religious batching here because the Catholic Church is at it again. Uh, the Vatican detectives are actually analysing a computer used by an ar archbishop arrested earlier this week and discovered that he had over 86,000 pornographic photos and 160 sexually explicit video files of children. Um, this is, you know, this former archbishop, uh, Joseph, Wozlowski was 66, was arrested at the Vatican early. Well, at least now they're starting to arrest the bloody idiots. You know, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Ah, really is ridiculous. Okay, let's have some music. And um, you know what? I'm going to play a little bit of Spanish. This was sent from uh, Spain. And uh, it's Ebony Voice. And I do like this song. And it's called Pidiendo Mas. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm James D. And you're listening to... Yay, Detroit. Go, go, go! Ella me encanta
Welcome back to Gay Detroit Radio. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely girl of this show. Okay, don't forget, if you would like to get in touch with us, please do. Um, there's email, which is gaydetroitradio at gmail.com. Uh, also, you can get me on Facebook, which is Gay Detroit Radio. Twitter account, which is Gay Detroit Radio. And also, if you want, you can get me on James D, my Facebook page as well. But if you want to go, um, you know, please, you know, just come up and say hi or whatever you want to do. I would love to hear from you. Okay, let's see now. Tea Party Christian, um, the Holly Hobby, uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, now, she was the one who actually, uh, remember the Holly Hobby, Hobby Lobby, uh, the God-fearing woman who defiantly stood up to the sanctity of marriage by posing outside of a Hobby Lobby store with her Chick-fil-A cup of heterosexual goodness and with a gun as well. And the Holy Bible. She, she got the Holy Bible and a gun in one hand. Stood in front of the uh, American flag. Well, standing up for the tradition of marriage she was. Well, she'd just been found cheating. She cheated on her vet husband. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so there you got it now. So this turns out that she's um the oh, I just don't understand this. You know, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, so she's been caught, you know, this tr- standing up for the tradition of marriage. She's now being caught cheating. Okay. And now this as well in England. Uh, a nurse destroys um archbishop's gay marriage stands with a stroke of her pen. A 65-year-old former nurse has told the leader of England's Catholics to ditch the robes, the Latin and activism against gays, and start helping the needy. A 65-year-old former nurse has delivered a withering telling off uh, to the Archbishop of Westminster, and that's actually the England's most um, senior Catholic, for his stance on gay marriage. Well... I'm just fed up of actually reading reading about these archbishops and uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I can't say anything because, you know, uh, it, apparently th- I think they should start actually um, <clears throat> take, checking everybody's computers in the uh, Catholic Church because apparently it's rife still. And uh, let's go now. Here's a good one, actually. A judge reopens a pre-court martial uh, hearing for a gay lieutenant. Uh, A military judge has ruled last month that a pre-court martial proceeding known as the an Article 32, hearing should be reopened uh, for Gay Air Force Lieutenant Joshua Seafried, who was charged last April with sexually assaulting a gay male U.S. Marine Lieutenant in a hotel room in New York City in 2012. The investigating officer conducted um, the initial Article 32 hearing last August and uh, questioned the Marine's credibility and recommended against a court-martial for Seafried on the grounds that there was insufficient evidence to obtain a conviction. So let's see where that's going. So, uh, okay. I just, uh, you, you know, we've got to be so bloody careful. And also, watch Ellen. Ellen says we love her new show, uh, One Big Happy, because there's a lesbian. So she's starting off um, a new program. Uh, we report, Actually, it was reported uh, in the she wired or something like that that um ella degeneres was going to be helming a new gaytastic um tv show and now that the first promo one big happy is out in the world we're pretty sure that there's no way we'll be disappointed in fact uh ellen degeneres herself um even kicks the clip off to tell us why we'll love the show because there's a lesbian Mm. Speaking about lesbians, I got a very talented one on the show. Um, I'm going to play one of her songs again. Nikki Holland. I'm doing the uh, spotlight on Nikki Holland this week. And uh, I really honestly love this girl. I love the way she does things, I love her style. So we've had Secret. And uh, let's have um, 
Stop the rain. Don't you dare rain on my parade, says Nikki Holland. She's fabulous. Great song. Stop the rain by Nikki Holland. You're listening to Gay Detroit Radio. And I'm James D. Well, you are sound boy. Mix that up a little bit. A little well, sweet. I make the people get nicer. Once upon a time, you were young and free to walk around, baby. Do anything. But life's a journey and sometimes it's tough. Kids fall too young for the wrong kind of love. Wishful thinking and all those plans that you made So, babe, when I met you, you figured I was the same Just said your hellos, went on and played your game I kissed you, my heart took wings. I grabbed my guitar and baby, I just had to sing. Thought things would be different, they could work out fine. And then you called and you said that you've changed your mind. Until the same beat, houses can't keep late nights, can't sleep. Now I'm enjoying the sun, chilling on the beach. Me and you, just an afterthought. But before you leave, baby, can you pass this up? But I'm such a gentleman, thought you were different. So, so innocent, but your spake is those extensions in your hair. I declare, make me want to holler, throw hands in the air. Yeah, like Marvin seduces, darling. There's plenty women here, shouldn't be a problem to get another. So, goodbye, lover, take all your things, including this umbrella. Baby, life's too short to give my love and time If you can't promise one thing, leave your past behind That kind of love, it ain't worth a fight You said I'm all wrong, well baby, you just ain't right Once again, the wonderful talents there of Nikki Holland. Well, I'll play another song of hers a little later. Now, apparently, uh, this is like a silly section. We've got now where the ladies' trend is uh, guys now are actually going to start uh, dyeing their beards a vibrant color. Got a young blonde hat man here who's got a nice um, green beard. Then we've got pink beards. Then we've got like an ice cold grey beard. Blue beard. Another green beard. And then a rather fetching yellow beard. And then more pink beards. So uh, apparently now, because everybody's wearing beards, uh, they're going to start dyeing them nice, vibrant colours. Um, you can actually get this from the Instinct magazine. If you go online, go to instinct.com, you'll find all this stuff. But. Uh, Hmm, I don't know. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm of the old school, you know, either beard or not. You know, I prefer clean shaven. Um, for me, anyway. But it's too much, <laughs> it's way too much grey in mine now. I'd have to dye it black. <laughs> oh, dear. And also, if you remember last week, we talked about porn star Johnny Rapid. Um, he offered um, Dust, uh, Justin Bieber uh, $2 million um, to do a sex, uh, porn sex thing with him. You know, so we were trying to find out who the... Uh, who would be the top, but apparently porn star. He's gay for pay, by the way. Um, so just letting you know. Um, the gay for pay porn star Johnny Rapid recently offered Justin Bieber a cool two million to do a sex scene with him. But apparently um, mm, he got arrested on December the 15th for allegedly choking and assaulting his girlfriend in public uh, in Rockdale, Ah, uh, she's just, I'm just, <laughs> well, apparently he wanted to have a threesome with a 14-year-old girl, and um, apparently she wasn't having it. Huh, maybe they should have been, you know, sort of um, invited Bieber. Is that a 14-year-old girl? I did not just say that. Ah. Oh. Okay, and new kids on the block. Um, Jonathan Knight admits he's nervous about running the amazing race with his boyfriend. Uh, Jonathan Knight has traveled the world as a member of the new kids on the block, but he's not sure um, anything could prepare him for competing in the amazing race with his boyfriend, Harley Rodriguez. Uh, uh, this is probably going to be the most time we've been together continually. Uh, nice tell the people. And uh, it's going to be uh, competing with the 26th installment of CBS reality competition show. Hmm. I, I never really watched those things. And also, a Texas representative wants to refuse salaries for anyone issuing same-sex marriage licenses. Um, this f big... Um, big um, mouth and the rest he could afford to well a Texas Republican has proposed a bill to remove the salaries from clerks who issue same sex marriage licenses um, the state representative Cecil Bell Jr.'s Texas Pre Preservation of Sovereignty and Marriage Act would prevent any state funds being issued for marriage licenses well, this piece of work, doesn't he realize that um, the, the the Institute of Marriage needs people like us because you're divorcing everybody? So, again, it's down to these um, religious bullies. Bullies, 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 bullies. We don't like them. Don't want them. We don't need them. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to have a little bit of uh, music ah, from my old friend Jeff Goot as well, another Detroiter. Yes. And, uh, go this. One more segment. Then uh, Nikki Holland again, you know. I like that girl. She's really talented. The beauty of a child gets tainted every day. And of all the things we love, there's that much more to hate. The broken promises are all that we can get from the politicians that allow us to leave.
Wisconsin Michiganders. Really, really nice. Okay, let's now near the end of where like the last segment or something like that. Now, there's a Florida couple actually whose driver's licenses were cancelled. Um, uh, mainly because they were in the same sex in Orlando, Florida. Uh, now that same-sex marriage is legal in Florida, the same-sex couple whose driver's licenses were cancelled because they used their married names, now they have finally received their new driver's licenses, each bearing with their new hyphenated last name. Um, I'm going to have to do this myself because I changed my name um, to Tony's. So... Um, now I'm going to be, because Michigan is not uh, recognizing um, my legal name, uh, my change name, I'm going to have to go through this process myself. So I will let you know what's going on there. We shall see. You know, because I want my, uh, I want my driver's license in my legal married name. Simple as that. Also, British actor Stephen Fry, um, the comedian, uh, very, very happy for him. He's 57, and um, he sent a tweet to his 8 million followers on Saturday announcing that he tied the knot with um, Elliot Spencer, his uh, young man. I'm very pleased for him. Throwing an uproar, you know, say because he's like, uh, he's, he's a lot younger than Stephen. Um, but then again, you know, I don't care, really. I mean, it's nobody else's business. It's his. If he's happy and Elliot is happy, that's all that matters. Uh, love does actually go in different ways for everything. So we shall see. Anyway. Also, let's see what's happening here. i got one more thing. Also, the Proposition 8 lawyer. Now, he's... Um, Explaining now why the Supreme Court will actually approve gay, uh, gay marriage because uh, David Boys, the attorney who argued against the California's Proposition 8, considers the up and coming uh, Supreme Court hearing as a final legal debate on a marriage equality. And really, Ted Bowles, the other one, he said, um, Really, it's, there's nothing more to say. It's, it's, you know, this is now at the point of no return. So, I think we'll have one more song. Because then we say goodbye. But I'm James D. And you're listening to Gay Detroit Radio, which is on radio-op.com every Friday at 9 o'clock. And let's have some more. Uh, one more song from Nicky Holland. The only words I want to hear you say are I'm sorry. Now the only words you're gonna hear me say are I tried. Is it really so much to ask for you to let go of your pride? Cause if you set it down, your arms are free to hold me. Yesterday we had a fight. I slammed the door, it wasn't right. But it's the little things they say that keep you going. Now what's unsaid has me undone And I wonder why, oh why When we argue, we fuss and fight The only words I want to hear you say are I'm sorry Now the only words you're gonna hear me say are I tried Is it really so this mean? How do we heal? Why must I be the one to apologize? Why must you be the one to criticize me? Did someone hurt you? Did they break your heart? A compromise could be that fresh new start and I wonder why, oh why? When we argue, we fuss and fight. The only words I want to hear you say are I'm
down This time I think I'll stay right here I won't hold my breath But I'll hold my tears Cause this door I've closed is Your line I've drawn It's yours to cross now I'll keep moving on And I wonder why Oh why When we argue we fuss Nikki Collins. Oh, Nikki Collins. I was thinking of something. Nikki Holland, I do apologize. Sorry, Nikki. Um, Nikki Holland and the only words. Well, these are my only words for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the music. I certainly have. And uh, I'll be back next week uh, with more news. And uh, I'm going to keep you updated on uh, what happens with uh, me. And uh, let's see how Michigan likes a dose of the old Brit, shall we? I'm James D. And I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah.